and I will reveal the secret with a paid membership. No, I'm kidding. I'll reveal it right now. There's no forward. I'm going full forward. And there's just nothing. Hi folks and uh, welcome to 2025. Uh, today we're going to maiden this 3D printed Let's call it a Bell 206 homage because uh, some eagle-eyed viewers will notice a few differences. But uh, sporting the Flywing Bell 206 internals complete, um, weighing in at 1300 grams with a 3000 battery. Uh, it's got a different tail motor with a 6040 prop. So today is her maiden. Been lying and hanging on the wall for the last six months. Never finished her, had other projects on the go. So today's the day. Of course, as usual, I fly in um, Atti mode. I have my switch here. Um, the switch still behaves as usual, meaning a GPS Atti return to home. But I just like to have my Atti switch here. It's quite a sporty uh, feeling. Guys, I've just learned something new. I had a problem this morning where she wouldn't react. There was basically no forward movement. So I found a flywing video and they said if that is the case, your helicopter doesn't have enough pitch and not enough head speed. They suggested to increase the pitch for scale helis to 14 plus 14 minus, which is what I've done. And the head speed from 70 to 80, which is what I've done. And suddenly, she's pretty alive. I think you'll agree with that. I don't want to... Um, stress this too much yet still just testing it but officially she flies it certainly feels light feels very nimble agile 
So now I know what to do with the airwolf actually. <laughs> because I've also been battling a little bit there. Uh, if Just check your pitch. Uh, if you want it agile like this. Just if it's uh, low. But don't go over 14 plus, 14 minus. Change your head speed to 80. And she'll be nimble. Besides some agility settings, of course, that you can also still do. But yeah, guys, there we go. Bill. 3D printed. Happy days. Let's bring her in for landing. Where the weeds aren't, possibly. So there we go. I'm very excited. <laughs>